What is up guys, it's your boy Alec Harry, aka The Curious Duo, on Xbox and iPad gameplay for Clash of Clans and Game Center. This is the standard um, setup for Clash of Clans, where you have like the boxes so that like if the intruders go through one wall, then they have to go through freaking a million walls just to get to another one. So yeah, how are you guys' day going? I hope you guys had a wonderful day, and I'm going to be bringing you a Boom Beach episode starting from the beginning. About two Clash of Clan videos and two Boom Beach helpful hint videos, which hopefully you guys will like because Boom Beach, uh, I think, came out like a week ago. So I know you guys are like looking at your strategies for Boom Beach and whatnot. So, yeah, guys, Boom Beach is basically another Clash of Clans created by the same creator known as Supercell. And this one features army guys and mer mercenary and machine gunners and aid kits and a bunch of stuff like that while clash of clans you know has barbarians and witches and archers and stuff like that so sniper tower in this game is the archer and so forth now this is created by supercell and the animation of the home screen is really sick i, lo I love this battle scene with the cool explosions <laughs> that's what she said and the cool explosion that they did against the water and stuff so I'm level 7 right now, and I guess I've just been attacked. So, um, let me quickly look at this replay. I barely got it yesterday. So, I guess that's where you go. And the cool part about this one is that you can actually find free diamonds every day, known as the gems in Clash of Clans. That way you don't have to spend a fortune getting diamonds that are useless, because you're paying a bunch of money for a free game. So it looks like they sent out their bigger artillery men, the black guys. Not racist, just pointing it out. Then you got like the sniper, rifle, AK-47 guys out there. Then you have flares and the uh, torpedoes, which I will show you guys soon when I do my own um, battle. So guys, make sure you guys subscribe and like this video if you do. And you should look at my other videos because I do a lot of cool videos videos and this one you get to choose troops and you have like a worship battleship where you can actually train your troops and then you send them out to sea against other players and I'll explain how you do it sniper towers known as archery tower and then I guess I'll upgrade it right now the good part about this game is that in the beginning it's short amount of time unlike clash of clans where it's five days to do it no that was an example of diamond Sorry, I'm talking fast. Just trying to get a bunch of stuff. So, close defense. So, yeah. So, the good part about this one is that you can actually scout out your enemies, but you can only choose up to four enemies, but they're relatively the same level as you. So, let's look at Apes in 1998, which he has his mortar, two sniper towers, and that's about it, which he's not very good. But I only have my one machine gunner so I don't think I'll do too much of then you can actually explore with the coins and look another treasure chest and I guess I found a sawmill that I can take over if I win I think lemon diamonds added to the bag and I got 19 there now these ones are two machine guns I, I have to know the weapons more guys but two videos a week for Clash of Clans and Boom Beach and yeah you guys can stay tuned and maybe you guys can actually do well based off my videos and so. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and tack in these red and white little pill things are the missiles that you can actually fire at the enemies before you even start attacking. And these coins you get by either blowing up a building or blowing up the gasoline tanks from um, the campaign, the guys. And then you can also have flares, which the flares actually let you choose where you want your players to go. And like Clash of Clans, where your freaking barbarians will travel the other s to the other side of the freaking map to kill the freaking builder hut. And it looks like I'm going to beat this level. And I'm going to get this resource base, which allows me to, I believe, get new saw or AKG elixir. From the island. And there's a bunch of islands, like Clash of Clans, where they have huts. This one, there's islands, which makes it more actually irony. Islanderly? If that's even a word. 
All right, well, I'm not going to sound super smart right now because I'm probably stupid compared to most of you guys out there because you guys are smarty pants. Oh, my machine gun upgraded to level 2 and or level 3. And then I guess I control the base now so p other people can actually attack the base, I'm guessing, to take it over, which is actually pretty cool. So now I just have to add my machine guns and place them and put my sawmill there and my machine gun here and I do it close to the islands because that way your machine guns actually have a chance of shooting before the people come to the actual base or actual land and I guess I'm going to attack this guy JY maybe I won't maybe I won't I have to find someone who's not that good and another chest which gives you more diamonds guys a lot of cover a lot of you guys a lot of stuff to learn, guys, and yeah. Okay, so I'll send my missiles out. And what I usually do is I send them out to the sniper tires because for me personally, those are the ones that are most powerful compared to some of the machine guns. Because, like, the level one one, the level one ones shoot just ra random fires and they they make like seven, they, they kill you 25% of the time. Oh, this one is actually good. Silver bullet. So this one is a level. I believe this one is level two machine gun. So that might be a disadvantage to me, unless I manage to kill it. Come on, come on. That that the machine gun guy is kind of like a giant. Just to let you guys know. And it doesn't look like I'm gonna do it. Uh. All right, guys. We can't always win them. And sometimes you have to lose them. That was a good example to see what you guys look like. So I got my mortars, got my sniper towers, and since I have the gems, I might as well upgrade it faster. Got my man, I'll do that. Because that way I can get more attacking in. And that way you guys are more aware of how to play the game. And hopefully be more experts at it. So this one is pretty easy, I guess. This one's displaced. I'll send my... Rockets out. Mm. I I usually dis disperse them throughout, but this one I'm just gonna go all balls out, all balls to the walls, and I'm gonna send out my 14 artillery. And see, like, look at that guy, or look at the machine gun, the one that's shooting like really rapidly. Like he's not even bar he's barely hitting my men. And maybe I will get to do this. Maybe I'll succeed in life for once. Uh oh, I don't have the nine, so. In the sniper towers in this game, they shoot really, really far, so that's actually a good advantage for defense, but for offense, it's kind of. It's kind of. You know, it's kind of cheap because you won't be able to kill them really. But that's why I do the missiles. But that one I can't really tell if he was level one or two. Yeah, simple game, really easy, good graphics. Well, in my opinion, they're, they're, it's just different because it started off in Canada, then it came to the U.S. like a couple months later, and then it was already super big. Now it came here to create to make it even more big. And yeah, the good part is that you don't have to spend a bunch of money on this game, guys. I don't want you guys spending freaking freaking fifty dollars a day for this game because you really don't need them. You really don't need that. I mean, you're trying to be the best in the game that's free, you know. And that's it, guys. Make sure you guys like and subscribe to the video if you enjoy. Thank you.